drop it once in transition. There you go. Now we want to really feel. All right. So if you look at this face on video, I want to talk to you about what the trail leg does. Okay. It pushes immediately. Okay. Now that gets the lead side of the pelvis moving towards the target way too fast. And then your head's going to back out and your hands are just going to disconnect from your body. All right? So I want to work on sequencing your trail foot or your <clears throat> trail leg and when the pressure pushes out of that foot. Okay. Yep. So when you get up to the top of your backswing, right, you want to feel that when you start opening up, like you do open, but you're pushing as you open too fast. Okay. So when you start opening, you want to feel as though the pressure in this trail leg sits down and works into the inside ball of that foot, right? Okay. Instead of immediately pushing out of the heel towards your target, okay? okay. That creates that sliding condition. So our feel is going to be, our, not our feel, our reel is going to be up top, pressure down into the ball and then when the club starts working down so when we get down here to about lead arm parallel just past lead arm parallel somewhere in this little vicinity here we are going to then push out of the ball now you see how my lead leg braces there mm -hmm. okay if we push out of the ball when the lead leg braces then we're going to continuously turn instead of getting that slide and then we can work to keep the chest on top now, I have put an alignment stick in the ground just off your knee, okay? We want to go up to the top for me. We want to avoid slowly start coming down, touching that until the lead arm gets just past parallel. Then we're going to push through that stick towards the target, right? Okay. Does that make sense? So just create the sensation that you leave it off of it. Now. In this drill, I'd rather have you be way too late pushing than too early, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm okay with a few swings where you're just sitting here and you just stay on that back foot and don't touch it at all. So give me two where you don't touch that stick at all. Just use your chest. You'll probably chunk them. That's okay. You went right through it. Keep it back there more. Okay. Keep all your pressure in your back foot. Still went into it. It's hard. It's hard to do. Keep it back there a little bit longer. One more. Now, if I record this, I'm gonna get this next one here. Go ahead. Wait. If I look at this, it's still. Not on it through impact. That's good. Now, you see how your chest is still tilting back? Yep. I want you to do the same exact drill, but I want you to feel that the lead shoulder is going to dive down, and this is an exaggerated feel, and get over the lead foot in transition. So you are going to feel some left bend here and dive down that way. Now we know you have a lot of offsetting tilt here, so you're not gonna actually get out in front of that, that lead side and just come across it super steep. But the feel needs to be that you're leaning that lead shoulder over the lead foot in transition with the same drill. Good. That's beautiful. I'm going to give you one more drill that we can work on. Just put this bucket in between your knees. Get rid of this. Now, I want you to go up to the top of your backswing and feel you're going to drop this bucket straight down in transition by pushing this trail knee back and away from the golf ball and the lead knee gets around. Drop it once in transition, there you go. Now we wanna really feel that that lead shoulder stays on top of the golf ball when you do that. Go ahead and hit a little bump for me. Drop that bucket. Better. Okay. Now, 
when you drop this bucket, I really want you to feel that the lead shoulder, go up, that the lead shoulder, drop the bucket as you come to, stays on top of that foot again, okay? That's gonna keep you from getting behind that golf ball. Go ahead and give me that rep. Get another one, that's fine. All right, on this one, go up. I really want you to feel that the lead shoulder is going to cover that lead foot. There you go, there you go, there you go. Keep opening, keep opening as it drops. Beautiful, that's your feel. Keep opening, keep that lead shoulder over that foot. Okay. Much better. Good. Your pressure actually went forward on that one. It didn't fall back. Yeah. That's a big difference. Hey guys, if you like this video, click like, subscribe. I come out with new content every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thank you.